Hello wonderful family, another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Today we'll be reading from the book of uh, John chapter 15 and uh, I'll start from verses 1 to um, I guess verse 8. Join me. This is Jesus talking now, talking to his disciples. I am the true vine and my father is the husbandman or I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. So he expects branches in him to bear fruit. And if he doesn't bear fruit, the gnaga drains it. And every branch that, or rather the, 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 the gardener excises it or chops it off so that it does not consume resources. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it or he trains it or he prunes it. That it may bring forth more fruit. So the essence of the pruning is that that branch should be more productive, bring forth more fruit. Further down, it will tell us what that fruit is. It says, Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. So the word cleanses, the word purifies. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. For you as a believer to be fruitful, you have to be integrally connected to our Lord Jesus Christ and his word. Outside of that, you become unproductive, unfruitful. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me he can do nothing. So your fruitfulness is connected to your relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. And you know the Lord Jesus Christ is the Word. So your fruitfulness is also connected to your relationship with the Word. Verse 6. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. So once you disconnect yourself from the Lord Jesus and his Word, you wither away. You wither away. You, be, you, you, are, you shrivel. You, you, you don't need a prophet to tell you that you are, you are, you are disconnected. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you. You are a Christian, and you are full of the word. You live the word. The word dictates your actions. You shall ask what ye will. And it shall be done to you. That is the secret of life there. The secret of this Christian life. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what you will. And it shall be done unto you. So if you abide in Christ and his words abide in you, you see the, the beautiful thing there is it is going, that word that is abiding in you will now dictate your will. It will tune your will to be conformable to his will. That's the secret in life. And it says that you shall ask what you will. At this stage, what you will, your will will have aligned with the will of the Father. And it says, and it shall be done unto you. Verse 8. Hearing, this is the way that my Father is glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall he be my disciples. He has told you exactly what that bearing of fruit is. That you ask what you will, which has become the will, which your will, which has now aligned with the will of the Father because you abide in him and the word abides in you and you bear much fruit. So you ask and you get. You are a co-creator with the Father. You are praying for his will here on earth, which is now your will and it is done for you in abundance. That's what brings glory to the Father. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done for you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, that you produce plenty from what you ask of the Father, he keeps giving to you, because your will and his are entwined in one. And you asking and he's answering and doing for you. And that brings glory to him. God bless you.
Hallelujah. Take this uh, little pill and exercise your dominion here by abiding in him and letting his word abide in you. Then you ask and the Father will, glorif will be glorified because he will cause you to be fruitful. God bless you. Hallelujah.